Hey Joe fans, I'm JoeFan82 here with another action figure review. Today I'm looking at the G.I. Joe Classified Profit Director Destro figure. Here he is in the package. Some I really like this packaging. It's bright, it's colorful, and uh, it's got some really nice gold highlights on it. If we turn it to the side, we can see some symbols on there that correlate with uh, some information on GIJoe.com. This is figure number 15 in the line, and the back is uh, the same artwork that we've seen on uh, Wave 1 figures. And uh, this specific artwork on the side and continues on the front. This uh, artwork reminds me of Teen Titans Go, um, but I think it's, it's pretty nice, very distinctive, and you can see how special this packaging is. It really uh, shines with that gold lettering. Here he is out of the package. This figure is actually based on a figure that uh, fans have come to know as Pimp Daddy Destro. And this was a very rare figure that was produced as part of the Cobra Command team set in 1997. And uh, a modern version was also released uh, for the uh, 25th anniversary figures. This figure has a uh, gold head instead of silver. It still maintains that shiny aspect to it. He's got a dark red uniform, um, top and bottom. Uh, keeps the same sculpting as the uh, original version figure. It's got a high black collar on the outside and the inside. That distinctive leopard print. Gold wrist rockets. That leopard print continues down his uniform onto his legs and uh, so does the dark red. He's got some dark black knee pads, boots, and uh, gold tips on his boots. I wonder if that's a uh, possibly a, a nod to the gold that we've seen on uh, wave one of the classified figures. He comes with this fantastic red and gold cape this fits over his head onto his shoulders red on the inside and uh, connects together with a gold chain in the front and then on the back is giant leopard print you can see the tail on the bottom and it slides right over fits very snugly over his shoulders and uh, he looks really cool uh, he is definitely dressed to impress while wearing this cape not sure if this Destro is out on the town enjoying the fruits of his labor or if this is uh, what he wears when he's lounging around at home. And his future is so bright he's got to wear shades. He's got a really nice pair of glasses here. Uh, sort of a purplish kind of color on the lenses. Silver on the sides and uh, looks really nice. It's not on there on his head securely. It's not really anything for it to grasp onto but it will stay on there if you don't move it around too much. And they can also rest on the top of his head um, if you want him to have that look too. A small gold handgun. This is the same uh, accessory that we saw with the original design version in Wave 1 and it fits very securely in his uh, red holster on his thigh. A gold briefcase. It's got the uh, Cobra logo on the side. Still not sure why they chose the Cobra logo instead of the Mars logo, but that's what they did. It's nicely done, uh, and the briefcase does open to reveal some cash money, a computer, and a red Cobra logo inside. It comes with this really cool <laughs> accessory. This is some burning cash. Uh, Flames are a little bit stiff. This is not a very, as flexible a piece as you would expect. Very nice sculpting, great detail on this. And he just looks really cool uh, holding that burning cash. This is Destro, guys. He's got money to burn. Let's take a look at his articulation. His head is on a ball joint, got some up and down movement, and uh, left to right impeded by his collar as you would expect his shoulder comes up about that far he's got that armor on his shoulders so it doesn't really go all the way up full 360 and um, about a 90 degree bend at the elbow he's got another swivel there right at the top of the bicep 
and uh, double jointed elbows, uh, 360 at the wrist and then an up and down joint there on the side of the hand. He's got that infamous chest cut in the middle that kind of cuts up the design a little bit. Um, mine's just a hair loose, not near, not as bad as any of the other figures, but not as tight as, as the others either. Yeah, and the waist swivel, his legs come up about that far. Sometimes you got to push the hips back in on these six inch figures when you move the legs out like that. He's got a thigh swivel there, which does break up the leopard print, so it looks a little funky if you uh, when you move it. He's got double jointed knees, very st very stiff, uh, but they do work. He's got another swivel at the top of the boot, which is nice, nicely hidden, and up and down movement at the top of the boot and rocker ankles. Here's a comparison with the uh, Wave 1 Destro, original version Destro. Quite a difference a paint scheme can make and uh, just a really completely different version of this character and uh, yeah very well done though great job on the paint apps and uh, just a really overall Nice figure, great accessories. This is really, I think this was intended to be a con exclusive, but obviously cons didn't happen this year, so this was made more widely available to uh, to fans. And uh, I, this is really what an exclusive should be, something that not everybody's going to want, and it's something kind of fun, and uh, some people would want it, but it's not really necessary. Um, to have this guy in your collection if you're going to choose one i would definitely go with the classic version but this is a very fun fun one that uh wouldn't hurt to have in there either if you like this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time